and welcome! Today I will be showing you exactly how to mod your game using Vortec. But before we get started, I upload new videos on every day except Tuesday and Wednesday. I post content just like this, so if you enjoy, make sure to click that bell so you don't miss another video. Now, back to the video. Vortex is the official mod manager of the Nexus Mods website. Previously, it was known as the Nexus Mod Manager, or NMM for short, but has since been upgraded and revamped, hence the name change. Here's a quick comparison of the old Mod Manager versus Vortex. Now, to start on your mod installation journey, the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the Nexus Mods website, which I will have a link to in the description. Now, if you don't already have an account, you will have to create one to be able to download any files off of the site. It is completely free unless you want to go premium, but most people are able to get by perfectly fine without the premium. Once you have your account created, you can go ahead and type Vortex into the Nexus Mods search bar. The first option there should be the Vortex you want, just make sure it isn't a translation version, unless of course you want the translation version. As you can see here, it says the official download page for Vortex, the new mod manager made by Nexus Mods. To download it, you're going to want to click on the manual button up here and it'll take you to a page with two options. You are gonna wanna click on this one here. You are gonna wanna click on this top one here. And then here's where the premium comes in as there is a download speed cap. On premium, there's no cap. And on free version, you have a download speed cap of two megabytes. Now that will begin downloading. Now once that is is done in downloading, you can go ahead and open the file and it will start the insul installation process. Now that it is done installing, you can open Vortex. This tab here is where all the settings for Vortex are. Feel free to mess around with these a bit and find what meets your preferences. One setting I would specifically like to point out is this little download tab. This is where you can adjust what folder your mods will be installed to. To adjust it, you would just click on this button here and it would bring up your browse folder folders where you can choose a folder. Now that you have all your settings adjusted to how you want, you can now install your first mod. To do so is quite easy. Just go back to the Nexus Mods website and go to the game you want. For this example, I'm using Skyrim. I would assume, I would assume it's quite similar for other games, however, if there is a specific game you want me to make a guide for, just comment down below. You'll see a few different tabs here. New mods, what's popular, a random tab, and then a recently updated tab. Go ahead and find the mod you want to download and click on it. I'm just going to click on some random one. We'll go with um, this one here, Slightly Stronger Dragons. Here you will see information on the mod you chose, and requirements if it has any requirements. If your mod does have any requirements, you'll have to download them first for your mod to be able to work. Then you'll want to go to the Files tab, and go to the file you want to download. Click Mod Manager Download. Download again, download again. This will automatically send it to Vortex to begin downloading. Now going back to Vortex, and going to our Downloads tab, we'll be able to see the progress on our mod. Now, since it has already finished downloading, I'm going to hit install, and then enable, and then once you give it a few seconds de to deploy and everything, you now officially have a newly modded game that you can play. As a little side note here, this Missing Masters notification just means that you are missing some type of mod that the just downloaded mod depends on. In this case, I'm not missing another mod, I just don't have the DLC files enabled. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll make sure to do my best to provide an answer. If you had enjoyed the video and want to see more like this, leave a like on the video to let me know. And as always, if you subscribe, I'll bake you cookies.